Hey, hey, you're out in the garage with Easy Jeezy. Real quick here, uh, I was inside editing a video, checking my comments, and there was another comment asking me about the Hoover mod. Uh, I didn't touch on it, and I already had some of this stuff laying out here, so I thought real quickly we'd go over this together. I'd tell you what it is. Some of you probably never even heard of it, and I do not, I'm going to say right here at the beginning, I don't think it's necessary. There's a, a, a reasonable risk involved in creating this mod. I think it was originally done by the factory, and they decided to take it away. And I'm going to take it away right now and show you what the Hoover mod is all about. Basically, we're going to look at the path of the oil. The oil is sucked up on this side of the case. It's driven by the camshaft, and it exits on this side of the case, the driver's side. This side has a little bit more oil available sooner than this side of the engine case. Now let's take it apart and we'll show you more. Okay, you can see that your main bearings get fed right here from these ports on this side we'll call this the high pressure side of the case now we're going to go down here to the bottom and we're going to look at where the cam bearing gets their oil all three cam bearings get their oil right here and this cam gets its back here and the way the oil moves to the other side of the case is through this big hole right here in the center okay now when the oil is going through there it is spread out, it goes through the passages, it transfers from one lifter to another. And you have grooves around your uh, valve lifters that ride on your camshaft. And the oil goes into the lifter bore, it travels up through the hollow push rod, and it goes to the rocker shaft assembly under the valve covers. We'll call that the top of the engine, because most cars are at the top. These are on the ends, the boxer engines. And it lubricates the top end, it absorbs heat, it runs back down through these push rod tubes, through these lifter holes, and you'll see the big gaps down here this is how it returns back into the crankcase through those slots okay now to get to this side and these lifters on this side of the case it comes through the middle it transfers over it goes down the hole it it takes care of this bearing it goes through the lifters and it takes care of the outside bearings there's three bearings for the camshaft and four bearings for the crankshaft. I hope I said that right, camshaft three. Okay, so that's how this thing works. With the Hoover Mod, what they talk about is taking a burr such as this and widening this hole because it has to go around the back of this bearing in order to come in and go to the hole in this one and continue on its passage. And they say that that will increase the flow. If you're having oil pressure problems anyhow, because you have worn uh, crankshaft mains and connecting rods and so on and so forth, this would even probably lower your oil pressure even more. It's no reason to go crazy with the oil pump size and getting a bigger oil pump, but it's just something to be thinking about and something to be aware of. So, as you will look here, all three of these cam bearings have a hole to get oil to them. If you look at this side of the engine, there is no hole on this uh, flywheel side. There's the big transfer hole in the middle. And there's no hole on this side. Although you'll see on this particular 1970 case that there is an impression right there. Not all cases have that. Sometimes you just have a groove going around in the back of it. And you'll note that this bearing does not have a groove on the back of it because it's getting fed from this hole. It goes into the bearing itself and comes out. You want to be real careful 
there's a little relief hole here, so excess spill off from this bearing. This is where the cam plug uh, goes, and it's the potential for leaks. They have them with O-rings, and they have them this deal. They have rubber ones. Uh, there's all kinds of them. But you, when you're putting your case sealer on here, you want to be real careful. I ask why I don't use silicone. Uh, I don't recommend silicone. I use the... Aviation sealer is just the uh, shellac looking stuff and it doesn't it doesn't have a tendency to create problems like silicone will. Silicone will squish off into the inside of the case and if it gets picked up it can damage your oil pump, it can damage, uh, get caught in oil passages and you can see the little oil holes on the side. So what the uh, Hoover Mod consists of, you can see it, it went to this side of this lifter bore and stopped. And that lubricated the lifter. And that created upper end oiling as well. So this guy decided, and I think the factory had planned on this. Okay, so in the back is the end of that oil galley where they drill the hole. And you would, you would figure where that is approximately. And you would hold your drill bit here. This is nothing fancy. I bought this at Ace Hardware. It's a 3 16 by 12 inch long drill bit. You take the plug out. There's a plug in there. You'll have to, you would have to use a pipe plug or something. Tap it uh, when you were done with this. Clean everything out good. And, uh... So what you would do, as you can see it, 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 the hole's already there up to this point. That's where the hole, the factory hole is, right there. See it? What you're doing is extending it further, but if you go too far, it'll come out into this chamber, and now you got a problem. you got a big hole, and you're losing oil, and it's going all over the cam gear, and you don't want that, and you're going to lose oil pressure. So you have to... Only drill it far enough so that the bottom hole goes here. Then you have to make sure that you drill this hole at 90 degrees and intersect the previous hole. And all that's doing for you is creating more oil available to this bearing as well as um, that's it. That's all you're doing. You're creating more oil to this bearing. And it's already got oil from this one. Now this is your thrust bearing. I'll grant you that. Well, let's point out something here. When your camshaft is in the engine block, that's what it looks like, right? Oops, I went my little burr. Did I, did I mention the burr? I can't remember. Just, uh, I, <clears throat> Losing my mind. How do you lose something that you don't have? Part of the Hoover Mod, I don't remember if I mentioned it, was to take a burr and make this groove a little bit wider on both sides of the case so that now you've, you've gave the oil more work to do going to that other bearing that the uh, manufacturer did not. And so this helps increase the oil flow to this side of the case. As a matter of fact, if you don't drill the hole at all and you're running a bigger than stock oil pump and you have a high performance cam, that may be something you want to think about and decide on for yourself. Whether you want to make, just make it a little wide. Now the tang for the cam bearings right there and you don't want to get that too close. You just have to be careful. These are the little tiny things that that racers do and have figured out over the years to give them the edge over their opponent. So in, in order for that to work, you'd have to do it in the same place, the bottom side over here, because you're trying to get it from that big hole to this big hole with less resistance. Make sense? I hope so, because that's the only way I can explain it. So now we've got the, the cam gear in here, and this is why I don't think that this is a good idea, and I think it's why either the the factory had future plans to do something like that or they tried it and they didn't like the results because it, that's a free mod it didn't use any material all you had to do was drill a hole a little bit farther and and drill that hole over there that's basically a free mod a couple of seconds on a in an assembly line machine room right okay now here's why you're going to get more oil to this bearing and you're going to create all that spill off. You see the cam, cam gear down there? See it moving? 
you're going to get more spill off in this area of the case, right? And what sits up here? You've got a baffle plate that goes in here, and you've got your generator stand here, and then you've got your crankcase ventilation system that goes to either your air cleaner, or you may dump it to ground, you may do both. But I have owned engines over the years. As they get old and wear out and lose their ring seal, you, you have them idling, and you you take the oil filler off and there's always a mess in there and you've got oil running down and you take it off and I've seen them so bad that there was oil that was actually spitting up in here and that was probably because the baffle plate was not put in correctly and but you can see my point if you're dumping more oil in this area where the cam gear is you're just you're creating a surplus and on a daily driver street machine or just an off-road play buggy like this car back here um, I don't think you need all that extra oil there and this is contributes to being a mess and and creating issues with with that part of the engine mostly it's a mess issue um, so that is why I am against doing the Hoover mod I think it would have been free if it would have been necessary the factory would have done it but they didn't do it. The next step they did, they went to the fuel injected engines, they eliminated the fuel pump hole right here, they came out with a different type of material which was a little harder called AS21. The replacement cases, if you wore out an engine and they were going to rebuild your engine with a new case, you damaged it somehow, they would, the replacement cases were made out of that material and they didn't have the serial numbers printed in them, they were just smooth. I have one of those engines right over here, it's an 1800 fuel injected uh, case, uh, I made videos on that, I've got hundreds of videos up on uh, all the stuff I've done to the four cars that I've owned and I try to share the things that I've learned over the last 30 years using these things as a daily driver. So I hope that helps somebody out. It may have confused some of you but I wouldn't worry about it because you don't need to do it in my humble opinion. Other people may tell you different. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subbing. Easy Jeezy out.